Today we will try to make a super awesome top down shooter game like this very quickly. So if you are interested, let's go. A top down game is a 3D game with a top view. So I will add all the basic features of a top down game like player movements, shoot mechanics, enemies and a cute world to roam around. We will start with the basic movements first. In top down game, a player can move in X, Z plane. So I'll get the horizontal and the vertical input. Please note, I don't have any Y axis motion. So the vertical input will be applied to the Z axis. And I will translate the player towards that input direction. Means simply I will move the player towards my input direction. Simple and easy. Now if you notice, it moves but don't rotate as per the motion. So I will add a line to rotate the player in the direction of the movement. It's very simple, just slurping through the movement direction. We have a simple moving player ready. Now let's add some shoot mechanics. So when I press a mouse key or any other button, I want to shoot. I have added a small cooldown also so that it doesn't shoot infinite bullets. It works, but there are few problems. Let's go one by one. The first problem is, in most of the top-down games, as the mouse moves, the player should also rotate towards that direction. So it is easy in that way to aim and shoot. And we have an aiming object in front of the player, just like a crosshair, so that the player can know where he is shooting. So I need to make an aim object, which moves with the mouse in front of the player. And here is the code. Look how smart I am. Not really. It is a chat GPT code. I just enhanced it at, as per my requirement. It is simple though. I am casting a ray from my camera towards the mouse point. And I have an imaginary plane which checks if my ray is casted onto that plane. And if yes, then I get the collision point. And I will place my aiming object there. And I am also rotating the aim object with respect to the player so that it looks good. And then I added the code to rotate the player as the mouse moves. And it looks good in action. Now the bullets are not moving in the aim direction. So I'll also add a rotation code to the bullets as well. So that they also move in the aim direction. Now we have something good. If you are not getting the idea of the code, don't worry. I'll share the entire source code in my discord server. And if you have any queries or questions, you can ask me there. So full source code link in the description. And by the way, I'm making an awesome time travel based game. Lots of fun, beautiful pixel art and lots of crazy stuff. It is a real nerdy game. So if you are a nerd like me, then follow my YouTube channel and join my discord for more nerdy action. The game looks too plain right now. So we need to add some colors to it. Let's find some awesome free assets to use. I'm planning to give it a cartoon colorful look. So I'll use the assets that matches that vibe. You can make it AAA style, low poly, whatever you want. I'm going to use these assets for the world, player, enemies, etc. I have imported the town, converted into URP, added the player skin to our character. The player character is a robot and the enemies are human. I remember a game called Metal Busters. It was a super, super awesome game that I used to play in my mobile phone. So from there, I got this inspiration. Anyways, I have added some animations to the player like idle, walk and shoot. And now it looks like this. Not bad, right? It was super simple. So in 10 minutes, we have our basic player ready. Now let's make some enemies. To keep the video simple, I will make enemies simple. They will stay in different locations of the map and when they detect the player, they will chase and attack him. For that, I will use navmesh. So the code is very simple as you can see. It checks if the player is in the range. If yes, then start chasing and attacking the player. And I have also added a cooldown timer for the attack so that it doesn't kill the player at once. Right now, the bullets look very bad. They are just white circles and they don't cause any damage to either of them. So we'll fix that. 
I have added a cool particle and collision effect for the bullet and I also added the damage effect and health on both the player and the enemy. So when it collides with the bullet, it takes some damage and when the health goes to zero, it simply dies. Easy and simple. I totally forgot about the camera. We need to make the camera follow the player. So I'll add a camera follow script, just the basic version with some adjustment as per our top down view. And here's the final version. Very simple and easy top down game. I have added some post processing and particle effects to make it pop even more. This was a very simple basic version. If you like this video then do let me know in the comments and I'll make a part 2 of it with more advanced features. Maybe a boss battle and inventory system and I'll also try to keep them as simple as possible. You can download the full source code from my discord server and if you have any questions feel free to ask. I'll see you in the next video and yes the teaser of my game is coming very very soon it is going to be a banger so don't miss it subscribe now